So, hey, thanks. It's Sister with a testimony. Um, up here in the field, I was um, just wanting to share with you my testimony for today. It's really awesome. It's brilliant. Of course, if God's in it, it's got to be brilliant because he is, like, magnificent. To God be the glory. So, a Sister with a testimony in the field, Texarkana, Arkansas, in the, um, the yard sale parking lot. So I wasn't going to come and do anything today, and I was in prayer earlier, and um, just walking and praying, I said, Lord, I commit my work unto you and ask you to establish my thoughts. So he did, and he sent me to Texarkana, and I was like, I wasn't coming to Texarkana, and um, he changed my mind. He said, you go, there's a soul, if it's just one, you have an appointment, and you need to be about my work. Well, you know, normally I'm in the mindset of going to where the homeless hang out or different places that I know that they frequent so I can give them water or pray for them. But it was like, no, this is about, this is somebody new. This is somebody different. And so I was just feeling, I had the unction, guys. So the Lord said, I've given you freely. Freely you have received, freely give. So, you know, when I quit my job and I sold the house and sold the business and sold everything and said, Lord, I'm going to trust you and, and I haven't worked for almost three years, uh, you know, you don't know where the next dollar is coming from unless God sends it. You ain't, you ain't got nothing. So you trust him and you know that if you have freely received, you freely give. It's not about money. You can preach the gospel without a dollar in your pocket. You don't need money in your pocket to preach the gospel. And, um, you know, if, if the Lord is uh, in it, guess what? He's going to provide for you. So if I got gas in my car and I'm healthy and I got the gospel in me, I'm going to come and I'm going to do what God told me to do. So here I am. Guess what, saints? This young man I prayed for um, a couple months back, the only thing that he wanted prayer for was his mother. He wanted his mother to be saved and to basically no more drugs no more you know living crazy he wanted his mother to to straighten up and act right so we prayed for his mother we prayed for him too but you know a couple of months later i happened to i just happened to be sitting here at right exactly the right time i got here about 15 20 minutes earlier just had enough time to pray for another lady and give some water out and here he comes and a few minutes later, I mean, he speaks to me and everything. And a few minutes later, his mother drives up. He gets his mother, brings his mother over here and says, she, this lady needs to pray for you. And uh, he was telling her about me. And um, he, he went off. He knew what I was going to do. Boy, did he. Woo! Jesus is Lord. So let me put it to you this way, saints. She got saved. She got saved. Okay? I didn't do it. Okay? I give God the glory. I give God the honor. I give him all the praise because he is worthy. He is magnificent. Hallowed be thy name, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. I come and I do what you told me to do. I said, Lord, I commit my work unto you and I ask you to establish my thoughts. He wouldn't let me make a right turn. He wouldn't make me make. A, he wouldn't allow me to make a left turn. It was, this is where you're going. You go to the parking lot. Don't worry about the tent. Don't worry about help. He said, I got an appointment for you and you best be keeping it. And I got up here and I I did what the Lord told me to do. And I said, well, you know, nothing's happening, Lord. All of a sudden, somebody shows up. He saves them. The Holy Spirit draws them. The Holy Spirit is the one that draws them to the vessel. And the vessel, according to Romans, let me just make sure you understand this, saints, that it's not me, but I've got to be available and willing. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Romans chapter 10 verse 14. Now let's read 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Ha <laughs> ha! As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel and bring glad tidings of good things saints the word of god is simple sent with a testimony Woo! <laughs> sent
sister with a testimony was sent with a testimony and because I got a testimony and because you got a testimony, another soul has been saved. Another soul has been transformed. Another soul is going to make it. Another soul, saints. Think about that. If one sinner repents, all of heaven rejoices. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done. To God be the glory. It's sister with a testimony giving out free water, giving out free prayer. Freely I have received. Freely I give. Hey, Sister Brenda. What's up? And I just praise and thank the Lord. Um, you know, there's people out here that love the Lord that will pray for you. We're sent out here, sent with a testimony so that you might hear the gospel. Wait a minute. You're already hearing the gospel, aren't you? Because you're in church every time the door opens. Think about that, saints. They're not coming to the buildings. They're coming to those that are sent according to Romans 10 verses 14 through 15. How shall they call on the Lord whom they've not believed unless somebody's been sent to preach to them? Go into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in. Not to a building. Compel them to come into the kingdom. The kingdom of God. The kingdom saints compel them to come into the kingdom because church membership is not going to save you only a close personal relationship with Yahshua Hamashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings that's the only thing that's going to save you a relationship not a religion a sister with a testimony in the field seeing people saved sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost God bless you. I love you. I plead the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you. I apply the blood of um, Yeshua Hamashiach over you. And I ask you, Father God, that the mm, Kadesh Ruach, Holy Spirit, fill them, Lord. Fill them, fill them, fill them. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For the things he has done. Thank you for saving us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you would take a nobody mm, like me and make him a somebody. Thank you, Father God, that you would save my soul, put my feet on solid ground, and show me the narrow path. Help us, Lord, to find the narrow path and stay on it. I love you. God bless you. It's sent with a testimony. That's me. God bless you. I love you. Later. Hello. Push the button.